Hello and welcome to my third video. Today I'm taking you on a bicycle tour around Copenhagen and we'll try to understand why is it such a great city for cycling. Let's go! So let's start by some numbers. In 2017, 28% of the trips in Copenhagen are done by bicycle. It's nearly 1.4 million kilometers cycled every day. There is five times more bicycles in the city than cars. From the 1970s to today, bicycle traffic rose so much that it's now equal to car traffic in the city center. 25% of the families with two children in Copenhagen own a cargo bike to carry their children. In Copenhagen, everything is made to make life of cyclists easier, such as dedicated street lights and panels, bicycle counters that tell you how many bicycles pass through every day, parkings, as so many people use bicycles, they had to create huge parking inside and outside. Green waves, during rush hour, traffic lights adapt to cyclist speed, so they don't have to stop, thanks to speed radar and LED lights. They even have footrests and handles, so they don't have to put their feet down at traffic lights. And handrails on stairs to carry bicycles up and down. So as we have just seen, cyclists in the city are well taken care of. But there is even more. I am now at the Snake Bridge, or Sukerslagen. It was built in 2014 and it connects Dubusboen with the neighboring districts. Shortly after opening, it became an icon for the city. It is one of the 13 bicycle bridge of Copenhagen. All of the new bridges are off limit to automobiles, to show that Copenhagen is a city for people. At last, and in a bigger scale, Copenhagen is linked with its neighboring cities by bicycle highways. Let's have a look at it. Bicycle highways are connected with public transportation, which makes them really convenient. As well as bicycle highways, green paths links major green areas of the city with urban centers. Okay, this is where I leave you, so I hope you liked the video, like it, share it as much as you can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos. Bye! I just realized something. I forgot to answer the question what makes a great city for cycling. So first of all, good infrastructure. Such as protected bicycle lanes, green path, bicycle highways or bicycle bridges. Second, it's pay attention to the users. So what did you in Copenhagen with green waves or footrests for example? Third, it's policies. I didn't tell you about it, but in Copenhagen, bicycles are free to carry in trains and they are always in priority in front of cars. In Copenhagen, people don't use bicycles because it's healthy or because it's environmentally friendly. They use it because it's the most convenient way to go from point A to point B. To make a city bicycle friendly, it has to be a priority. Everything has to be done, so people prefer to use bicycles.